Hi, welcome back to YouTubers and Mad Fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Buffalo Bills playbook. This playbook right here was probably my least favorite playbook last year. And then they went to go ahead and got a new coach. So obviously they got a new playbook. But Sean McDermott's playbook is actually pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some plays out of the single back trio. I've not really used the, the Bills playbook that much. But I really am thinking about looking into it. The reason I chose uh, this particular playbook is because there's got some plays that I've been using uh, in an online CF. FM that I really like and I couldn't find it in any other playbook. I'll show you. There's two run plays I'm going to show you today. Uh, but if you guys want to see more plays out of the Bills, there's really some good looking formations. Plays. I've made plays out of the wing slot. I've made plays out of the bunch ace. The tight slots. Everybody knows this formation. This is the most cheesy used formation in the world. There's my favorite play, the halfback wheel. Um, so, you know, I like the doubles north. I'm really seeing some good stuff out of the doubles north. I think that's a formation that's in the Packers book uh, that I made some plays out of. But there's some really good stuff here. So if you want to see more Bills, let me know. Uh, it's a really, I'm, I'm enjoying this book. I really am. So let's go single back trio. Like I said, the reason that I chose this particular book is because this particular play has got to be the easiest mode play in the game. The halfback toss out of this formation is so cheese. It's like, I, I don't know, it's a really easy play. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Uh, like I said, I'll show you uh, the stretch, although that's basically the same setup. This is going to be a pretty quick video. So let's go ahead and let's pick that play, the halfback toss. This particular play. I could not find it in any other playbook. So please let me know in the comment section if it is in another playbook. I went through every one and I didn't see it. So let me know. It might be in an alternate playbook or something. But let's pick that play. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go random. It's it's a you know three wide receiver formation. So I'm going to go random nickel. If somebody comes out in a heavier formation, it's always your option to change to a pass. And that would make most sense. So let's match personnel here. Okay, so here's the look. Right off the bat, I can tell I have a zone coverage. Now, the computer's telling me I have a blocking advantage to the left, to the right side, but they're full of shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this play back against the grain, go against my, uh, go against what the, uh, what the computer's telling me to do, what that, what that box system's telling me to do, because I know I realistically have a blocking advantage on the other side. So since it's a zone coverage, I'm going to run it this way. We'll go ahead and we'll do that. Hopefully the blocks will set up like I want. Get a nice five-yard run. I was expecting a little bit more. We'll do that again. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. This once again, zone coverage. I got the safety coming down, but I don't care. I'm going to run it just like this. Hope it gets caught up. We're going to take it wide. Look at that nasty ass block we get out there. And we make a dude miss, and we get about 15 easy yards without even trying. So, once again, zone coverage. Flipping the play. Now we're going to go ahead. We're just going to, we just need somebody to make a block. And I, I can make a dude miss because he's LaShawn McCoy. And we're going to the house. Let's go. Touchdown, baby. And typically, I'll get the edge without trying. Here we go. Now we have three cornerbacks in front of three receivers. So I have a man coverage. I can run it just like this. No adjustment. The, the user probably will think that I'm going to go to the other side because I've been doing that the whole time. And now you're going to see I have a nice blocking advantage because there's no cornerback over there to cut it off. Not the best run, but okay. Another option you can do is if, if it's a man or a zone is you can motion block uh, one of these receivers. Typically, the, the corner on a man will follow, but you can see he's kind of behind. So he's kind of out of the way enough that um, you can make that happen. And you can see here we're going to get another nice run as, uh, as McCoy just has unbelievable shake and bake in his uh, 98 agility. <clears throat> so that's really your choice. Here's another man. I wouldn't say taking Thompson. I would leave Thompson because he's kind of like uh, the, 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 the seal block from behind. So if you're going to do a motion block, um, I would just say uh, do do a different receiver. There, we, we got some serious. Like I said, if this guy was faster, he'd have been way, way gone. But you know what? He made it anyway. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the next play. The next play is not different at all. It's just a little bit safer. It's the same play. It's a stretch. So we're going to go. We're going to pick that. We're going to keep going random nickel. Uh, this play right here, like I said, the exact same read system, exact same setup. It's just a little bit safer against zones when you're going against the grain. Like this here, I don't really... You see how the, guy, the guys kind of get out wide. Um, I'm not as big a fan of it, but it's not a bad... There's no gap for anybody to run in on which uh, the other play typically has. Like this here, you know, I'm, I'm doing the wrong because that's a man again. But you can see how the blocking holds up. It's just a little bit of a safer play, but it's less explosive. Yeah, there's something about stretch blocking. Like, that guy's wide, but look how 73 is going to race out and get in front of him and then just create a lane. Like I said, stretch blocking, because it's man-on-man, -man, it just works a little bit better. So that's it for the video, uh, all these run plays. I'm going to record two pass plays that will be on my Patreon. I don't think they'll make it to YouTube, uh, but they're just good adjustments. So if you guys want to check that out, check out my Patreon account. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shut Out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.